All right, welcome. We are working on percent composition. You are going to need your reference tables and a calculator for this. So on table T, you see the formula for percent composition is mass of part over mass of whole times 100. So in a chemical compound that we're not given lab data, you need to use the reference table periodic table to figure out the masses using GFMs. So potassium has a mass of 39. So let's see, this is 39. Manganese has a mass of 55. And the calculator, I'm going to put 39 plus 55. And an oxygen is 16 times 4, so that's 64. So my total mass is 158. So here's K, here's MN, here's L. So the, new, the denominator is going to be 158 each time the mass of whole. Now the mass of part, for potassium it was 39, for manganese it was 55, and for oxygen it was 64. So then we'll have to multiply by 100. Now I did a little bit of rounding, so these percentages might not add up to 100, could be a little bit over, a little bit under, but as long as you're in the ballpark you're fine. So 39 divided by 158 times 100 is 24.68, so 24.7. 55 divided by 158 times 100 is 34.8%. And 64 divided by 158 times 100, whoops, 64 divided by 158 times 100 is 40.5%. So 24.7 plus 34.8 plus 40.5. That equals 100 right on the nose. Okay? So our next one, HCl, this is 1 and chlorine is 35. So a total mass would be 36 HCl. So 36 is our whole, our part, and then times 100. Okay? So 1 over 36 times 100, 2.7 repeating, so we'll call it 2.8%. 35 over 30, whoops, 35 divided by 36 times 100, and we're going to call that 97.2%. Okay, so we have magnesium, we have nitrogen, we have oxygen. So magnesium is mass of 24, and nitrogen, now be careful, you have to distribute this, so 2 times 14 is 28, and distribute that, so that's 6 times 16. Remember, I'm getting these masses from the periodic table. So 96 plus 28 plus 24, so that's our whole, 148. And you'd get points off on the regions if you did not write times 100 because it's not implied to make it a percentage. 24 divided by 148 times 100 is 16.2% magnesium. 28 divided by 148 times 100 is 18.9. This is 16.2. Uh, nitrogen, and then 96 divided by 148 times 100 is 64.9%. And again, these should all add up to 100. If they don't quite, then it's just because we did a little bit of rounding with GFMs. Okay, so we've got nitrogen, we've got hydrogen, we've got phosphorus, we've got oxygen. Don't forget to distribute. 3 times 14 because that's distributed. So nitrogen is a 42. 12 times 1 is uh, 12. Phosphorus is not distributed, so that's a 31. And 16 times 4 is 64. So those are our parts. Add them up for the whole. 42 plus 12 plus 31 plus 64. 149, 149. 149, 149, and then you'd have to multiply by 100, okay? 
So 42 divided by 149 times 100, 28.2% nitrogen. 12 divided by 149 times 100, 8.1%. 31 divided by 149 divided by 100. I should have multiplied. Oops. I knew that was small. 20.8, <coughs> excuse me. And then 64 divided by 149 times 100. Looks like 42.9. Mm, it might be 43.0. Whatever. It's close enough. All right. And we have the last one, aluminum, sulfur, oxygen. Aluminum is a mass of 27 times 2, so that's 54 for our part. Sulfur, don't forget to distribute, 3 times 32 is 96. 12 times 16 is 192. So let's add them up to get the whole so when you add those three up, you get 342, 342 times 100, times 100, times 100. 54 divided by 342 times 100. It's like 15.8% aluminum. 96 divided by 342 times 100, 28 point one percent sulfur 192 divided by 342 divided by 100 why did I divide by 100 <clears throat> 192 divided by 342 times 100 56 point one percent Um, I don't want to do these last three. If you would like to try them on your own, feel free, and you can ask me for the answers. Uh, but really, that's all it is for percent composition. Okay, if you've got any questions, please reach out. Thank you.